James was in court supported by his long-term school friend Benedict Cumberbatch and James's new wife Hattie Chamberlain. So, should a child know every detail of their parents' lives? Huh, well, there you are. Yes. Took, took, took the words out. I mean, it's a tricky one, isn't it? I kind of agree with the court judgment because it's about freedom of speech and it's about the uh, the right to be able to tell your own life story, mm. um, and, and obviously when it's true, which it is in this case. Um, but the flip side of that, I also kind of sympathise with the with his ex-wife a bit because their son is young, and she feels that he might get teased because the, the detail is very graphic, and, and it's difficult, isn't it? Because it's in the public eye, but. There comes a shift, I think, in your children's mental capability where you think if, you, if there is something traumatic you need to share with them, there's a time where you suddenly realise, OK, they're now mentally able to deal with and process this information. Yeah. And if you as a parent think that they're too young, that's tricky. Well, yeah. the thing, I mean, I think the thing is, it, parents sort of, um, in, in, a, in, in a good well-functioning family, parents sort of know instinctively when their child is ready to hear something which is perhaps not particularly pleasant about a parent's past. This is very difficult, though, because this child, this particular child, he's 12, I believe he has learning difficulties, but he lives in America with uh, his mother, and the author, James, wrote, said that he did feel very strongly that... Um, his child would never read this book. It's not a children's book. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I can see his point. It's very, very difficult. I, I think sort of sitting him down and telling him all about it would have been possibly not the right thing to do, but he's absolutely got the right to write his own story. Mm. But sometimes your children Google you, don't they? If, especially if well, you're slightly in the public eye. Well, yeah, I mean, this has been ever since uh, my first daughter was born I've had this anguish about because I was married before and my husband died in really tragic uh, circumstances and it was it, I, I, I had planned initially I remember when I first had her, I'm not never going to tell this baby this story it was not her father my first marriage and um, as she's grown up it became clear to me that I was going to have to tell her because she was at school and friends were starting to Google me and then she was showing me pictures that she yeah. found on Google and I thought, <clears throat> it's a matter of time until she will find out about what happened. And, oh, my goodness, once I decided that I was going to take it took me about three years because it just felt, once I've told her this, there's something that is going to change, that some sort of innocence is going to be changed when she hears that her mother's gone through this mm. traumatic thing and, indeed, the traumatic thing that he went through. And, it, it, honestly, I, I can't tell you how much, how much worry I went through with this. And, of course, like all children, when I eventually told her, yeah. she was absolutely fine about it and gave me a hug and talked about it. But, but, but I truly believe that if, it hadn't been, if I hadn't been off the telly and that she wasn't going to Google it, I would not have told her that as a child because I yeah. think some things, it's just too much. Mm. And their innocence is here for such a short time. And, for them. and I've got a friend who's a great mother, but she does tell her daughter everything. Yeah. And I'm like, no, it's too much to bear on their shoulders. Oversharing. But, but, Oversharing well, has but, become fashionable. But basically, fashionable. They, all they want to know, all a child wants to know is that you, your daughter's mum, you, are fine. Yeah. And it's, you, you actually cue them in to how they should respond to this mm. possibly earth-shattering piece of news. They look at you and they take their cue from you. And she obviously knows yeah. that you're, you're OK and you're yeah. happy now mm. and everything's in the past. I mean, it's a parent, yeah. it's a, a, an instinct, isn't it? You, you feel that your children are like blank computer software and you programme them and you don't mm. want to programme them with mm. something traumatic it's yeah. it's, a, mm. it's a really difficult one and especially mm. if it's regarding something as terrible as, as sexual abuse uh, in in childhood because we tell children don't keep it a secret tell a grown up and yet in in this instance we're saying to this man don't tell your story mm. because of the, its influence on a child so it's got so mm. it, it's a yeah. very very Complex. difficult situation yeah. it really is